Hello, Aditya. Uh, welcome Hello. to Constructor Space interview session. Uh, we are very happy to have you here and hear the news that you have got into the calling. So, uh, in your own words, uh, can you please provide a small introduction? Sure. I'm Aditya Sharma. Um, I'm going to be attending Bocconi University in uh, International Economics and Management, and I have an SAT score of 1540. That's great. That's great. Good to know. So, we want to know a bit about your college preparation since last uh, two, three years you have been uh, sure. working on college preparation. You, you mm -hmm. have been with us since last two years. So just want to know how your journey has been. I mean, uh, how much exciting has been for it for you? Was it a stressful or exciting? Um, I think I was in a more peculiar situation than normal students where I got accepted into Bukoni very early um, in the early session. So it was a lot more exciting for me because I didn't have to be stressed about whether or not I'll be able to apply to many different universities or not. So I was able to explore my options more because I had something already quite early. Uh, just want to know you, despite of having a great SAT score 1540, you, you could mm -hmm. have got some really good university in US only. Why did you choose mm -hmm. uh, university in Europe? Uh, I think Bakon is in Italy, right? So yeah, uh, wh why did you choose uh, university in Europe uh, then US? Mm. So because I lived most of my life in Europe, around seven years um, in Germany, I have a pretty strong attachment to this region. And Italy has that perfect blend of being modern while also adhering to sort of more European roots. And I found that being able to build a strong base here and then perhaps exploring options overseas in my master's or beyond would be a better option for me. That's great. That's great. Good to know. So you have been part of us as a uh, as a SAT prep student. So yeah. just want to know, and your journey has been quite good. In the first attempt, you got 1440, then 1540. Uh -huh. So how did masterclass space help you in your college preparation in your in getting this SAT score? Mm -hmm. I think it was definitely very crucial and important that I took part in your sessions because. It was the first time that I'd ever taken the sort of standardized test. So having someone there who was able to guide me through exactly what's the most efficient way of studying, because in our last few years of high school, we're always busy with a lot of studying. So having someone there to guide some of the important things is always helpful. That's great, that's great. Good to know. So, uh... I want to know a bit about the university. I mean, uh, uh, compared to basically, uh, compared to some universities in US, uh, what what expectations do you have from Bokani, uh, which it, it's going to provide you? Mm -hmm. So I think it's definitely a very prestigious university where it'll provide the same quality of education as higher ranking universities in uh, the rest of the world. Because for example, in uh, business and management, Bocconi is ranked uh, sixth in the world. So it hardly falls behind any other universities. Um, so I think I'm definitely looking for that high quality of education. And while it will also be rigorous, I think that's important because it'll help me get a better grasp of what I'm going there to learn. That's good, that's good. Uh, I want to just uh, know a bit about uh, the profile uh, which is required to get into Bokoni. So, what type of students? Uh, what type of students does Bokoni, you know, consider? Yeah. Um, so they take um, all um, international applicants, um, but usually it's about fifty percent from within Italy and then 50% from the rest of the world. So it's a very competitive application pool because you have very few slots and a lot of applicants applying for it. Um, so what they look for is a one to two page um, essay about yourself and about your school career and everything. Um, a high SAT score, they don't specify an exact number, but 
if it's not high enough, they don't consider you in the pool of applicants. Um, and as well as your high school transcripts, all of your grades for the past few years, um, and a um, resume. So sort of any internships or any other experiences that you have. That's good. So e even you have not, uh, you, you have not chosen US University, but your SAT score has been beneficial for you in getting books. Definitely, yeah. Definitely, I, I can understand that. So uh, apart from the academics, what on extracurricular activities you had on your profile? Mm -hmm. So I've been playing golf for the last 11 years. So that was definitely a big part of my application. Um, I took part in a lot, of, a lot of service groups on campus, and I was also the student council president for our school. Um, and I took part in a lot of other sort of sports and activities, such as swimming. I was also on the swimming team and took part in a lot of academic competitions. So I found it helpful to, the more things I did, the better profile the university had of me as a student and the more likely they were to seriously consider me for a slot then. That's good to know. So it was quite, quite uh, you know, comprehensive profile. You, you mm -hmm. had, uh, yeah. uh, it was uh, good academics, uh, good sports, uh, good SAT score that uh, yeah. gave you admission in Bakani. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, now you're going, uh, which uh, degree you are going to pursue? So I'll be pursuing a BSc in uh, International Economics and Finance. BSc in uh, sorry. Economics. Um, International Economics and Management. Okay, BSc in International Economics and Management. Yeah. Okay, so talking up further, what are your long-term plan? What do you want to pursue after this mm -hmm. degree? Yeah, so my immediate focus after the degree would be to pursue a master's degree um, because I think just with a bachelor in today's sort of economic climate, it's not really enough to be competitive. So it's like a minimum of master's degree. And then I'm thinking of exploring like the finance field a little bit. So like investment banking and trading and stock brokerage and things like that, where I'm inclined towards. That's good, that's good. So uh, uh, now, since uh, you're going to a very niche university, for students who are going to prepare for such universities, who are aiming such universities, like the Bukhari, yeah. uh, what's going to be your suggestion? How, how should be the profile? How should one prepare to get into such university? Yeah, so I think it's very important that universities in a lot of parts of Europe and even like the US um, look for a very rounded application. So for example, if I had a high SAT score, but then no extracurricular, so like no golf and no things, they wouldn't consider that because there'd be another student who has both of them. So I think it's very important to sort of place equal focus on all of these aspects. And how about the college essay? Yeah, so I think the college essay is definitely very important because everything else is just information they've gotten from things that you've done. But the college essay is the only part they get to see, which is you directly speaking to them. So it's very important because they get to see exactly how you think and what you think your experiences have been. So it's definitely important. That's good to know uh, about uh, your uh college journey. Now I just want to know a few things about uh, the hobbies which are going to continue in your university. So what are you going mm -hmm. to continue? Yeah, so they have at Bocconi, they have a competitive and a leisure golf team. So I want to continue be pursuing the competitive side a bit because I definitely don't want to drop uh, something I've spent so much time doing. Um, they also have a lot of different sports teams and academic teams. So like a math team as well as a swim team and squash and different other activities. So I definitely want to be continuing to sort of tinker around in all of these different things to find out what I really want to do. Well, uh, best wishes for all these uh, things. Now your college journey is going to kick off. And yeah. uh, best wishes on behalf of Masterclass Space. 
and we are really very happy uh, to, to to know about uh, the result which you have got uh, best wishes once again and uh, good luck for all your future endeavors thank you welcome